Hey guys, how are you? This is me Nikhil back again with another video. So firstly, I would like to share an update with you that I have shifted to an apartment. So this video is gonna be about the apartment tour. So let me just start by showing you guys what is there below the building. So as you guys can see here is a quick and convenient store and there's also an ATM in there. And we also have a fresh slice here. So whenever we feel hungry, we just come here and grab a bite. Also when we walk more there is this Waves coffee house so whenever we want to have coffee we just come here and grab it also as you can see right across the street there is a skytrain station and right across the road there is a bus stop here and also one more is here this is our building this tall building and we are living on the 20th floor so that's quite an upgrade from the basement also if you can see there is a subway there just nearby and all the other necessary things are also very easily accessible from here. The people who have watched my house to video might remember that I said them that it's better if you find a house that's near to a bus stop or a skytrain station. So it's very convenient for us to travel. Also there is a sushi shop here and there is also a barber store here as you can see. Now that I have showed you guys what's around my apartment, let me show you what's there inside the building. So this is the entry of my apartment and for entering we need this key. So we have to scan this key here and after that only we can enter. Uh, for the people like for example if some of my friends come we have a number so they have to dial it from here and then I will get a call and I can unlock the door with my phone and they can come. But for now I will use this fob to access and now the door will be open. Without the key the door won't open. We get all our mails here. This is our mailbox, room number 2010. And let's go here. The main reason why I came here is this, the gym. So for that also we need this fob. So this is the gym. Having the gym in the same building has proven very beneficial for me because I no longer have to go outside and travel for long to go to the gym. Whenever I just get time, I come down the building and do some exercise. So the gym is open from morning 6 to evening 9 so we can access it anytime and it's included in the rent. Now let me take you guys to my apartment. When we come out of the gym, we go straight and here are the lifts. We have three lifts. We have to scan the fob here also and then we have to press our floor number. Without the fob, the butter won't press. So this is our SU 2010. Let's go inside. I didn't lock it. So while entering here, we keep all the shoes and stuff. And towards the left, there's a den like a office den so we are using this space for all the heavy clothes and there are all the suitcases so here is the first wardrobe so this is a small one in which i have kept my stuff now let me show you the first bathroom is just here so this is my bathroom uh, we have a bathtub also. The reason why we chose this flat is there are bathtubs in both the bathrooms here. Now let me show you the first room. So in this room my roommates are staying. So it's quite messy because they just woke up and left for their work. So it's not that big but it's comfortable. There are two people staying here and this is all their stuff and see the view also. It's so amazing. Here we have the wardrobe and let me show you the bathroom. So like this is the master bedroom so it has the bathroom attached here. So this is the bathroom. And here also we have a bathtub. Before continuing further with the video, I have a question for you guys. Do you also wish to study abroad like me? Do you wish to get admission in top 20 or 30 schools, particularly the ones in the Ivy League or schools like Stanford, Oxford, Cambridge and MIT? And you do not know how to? 
then I have someone who can help you get admission in these schools. I am talking about the IP brothers who are counsellors from Princeton, Harvard and MIT and they help students to get into Ivy League schools. They also provide specialised academic support and ACT, SAT preparation. They also help in developing strategy by talking one to one. They also help you brainstorm, develop and edit your essays to the top school and even help in the interview preparation. They also have a hook program in which they help the students to make their projects stand out. All you have to do is click the link in the description and schedule a consultation with them. You can talk with them regarding all the doubts that you have. Now let's continue with the video. Let me show you the kitchen now. So this is our kitchen. We have our dustbins here. Here we have the kitchen lights. This is the light for a lamp but we don't have a lamp. It is supposed to be here. And this is the heater right now it's off. In the winters we have to just move it like this and the heater will start. This is the light of the kitchen and I love the kitchen light you can see. This is the kitchen light and with the help of this we can adjust the brightness. So these are the storage spaces and we have kept the bowls and glasses here. And here we have the plates and some more bowls. Uh, this is the microwave, we have our toaster, the toaster is ours, everything else was included here and it was unfurnished so all the beds and everything that you see we have brought it ourselves. We also have a dishwasher here, we also have an oven. Now let me show you the hall. So this is a hall and this is my mattress, I sleep in the hall because I find it very comfortable here and you can look at the view. So this is the view from the hall. Currently we are looking for a couch to keep in the hall but the main problem why we are not able to get the couch is transportation problem. We don't have our own vehicles. We have to arrange for a truck and by the time we arrange for a truck the couches are already sold out. Because we are looking for the couches on Facebook marketplace they just give it for free or uh, either they just charge very less amount like 40-50 bucks. So as students that's only what we can afford. We can't get a whole new couch for this house because it will be very expensive for us. So let's just keep our finger crossed and hope that we find a couch and we get it before anyone else. Once we get the couch our hall will be complete. Let me also show you this beautiful light that we got for our hall. So we got it from Facebook marketplace for 40 bucks. It was quite cheap and it's very beautiful. Also we bought this IKEA table. Here I have my fan which I don't think I will assemble now because it's starting to get colder. And this is our Wi-Fi which gives us very good speed of 500 Mbps. Right now we aren't paying anything for the Wi-Fi. For the first 5 months it's free. And after the 5 months it will be 80 bucks a month. So it will be 20 bucks each for everyone. And also they are giving us free Netflix. And you guys might be familiar with this thing. This is my table. The IKEA table that I got from Facebook marketplace for free. I showed this table in my room too. And this is the chair that I also got from Facebook marketplace for free. And now let me show you the balcony. So this is the balcony and let me just show you the view from here. So this is the view from our balcony. As you guys can see it's quite spacious and we can easily keep two chairs and a table here. And you might be getting some background noise because of a sky train that has just come. So let me just go inside. This is the second room. And here another girl is staying and she just came yesterday so we still have to get the mattress for her. And this is the view from her room. So it's not a very big room but it's enough for a person. And this is the wardrobe. Now talking about the garbage disposal and the parking. So we have four parkings that is P1, P2, P3 and P4. As you guys can see on the fob also there are buttons 1, 2, 3, 4. So these are the buttons for the gates of the parking. So if one of my friends is coming and he has a car then I will have to go down myself and I will have to open the parking for him to come inside. So the P1 it's the visitor parking. The P2, P3 and P4 they are for the residents of the building and we have our reserve slot in the P2. 
दिस इज अ ट्वेंटी फाइव स्टोरी बिल्डिंग एंड ऑन एवरी फ्लोर देर आर टेन अपार्टमेंट फॉर डिस्पोजिंग दी गार्बेज वी हैव टू गो टू दी पार्किंग वन नाउ लेट मी जस्ट टेल यू द रीजन वाई चेंज माई हाउस सो अवर लीज ऑफ द प्रीवियस बेसमेंट वॉज एंडिंग ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑगस्ट and uh, the rent that was decided till that time was 2100 bucks and uh, the lease was going to end so we asked our landlord that we would like to stay here we would like to extend but he said that if we are looking to extend we'll have to sign a lease for one year and the rent will be increased so we asked him how much will be the rent so he said it will be 2800 bucks so to be honest i didn't feel like it was worth it to give 2800 bucks for that basement because this apartment that we have gotten it's just for 20 Six hundred bucks. Also, from my previous house, it used to take me one hour and thirty minutes to reach my university. But from here, it just takes me an hour. During the night, from my previous home, there were no buses available, so I had to walk like two kilometers to my house. But now I will not have to walk because the sky train is just nearby my building. Right from my childhood, I had this dream. You can't like exactly call it a dream, but like I always wanted to be independent and live in a unknown city, far from my parents, on my own, in an apartment with a great Great view, and now that I am currently living like that, that sense of achievement is just really beyond words. So that's pretty much it for my apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you did, then please like the video, and if you are new to my channel, then please subscribe. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye.